Welcome back, Simple Homeowners. Uh, today, I'm going to install a light kit that's on, uh, it's gonna be on a Toro 42-inch riding mower. This thing uh, I got from a place called Acme Tools, uh, which is just hilarious for one. Um, it, uh, it looks like a very simple install. And I uh, just wanna show you the first thing it says to do is to, to remove the footrest. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I've just got two bolts here and uh, we'll go with that. And let's see, I think it's a, um, looks like a 9 16 is what it's gonna be to take it to get it off. So just put it on here. Come off really. All right, so let me get uh, this one step done and we'll go from there. So while the bolts are out, it looks like it just comes up, clips off, comes off, and this is called the footrest. So now the light goes in here, down here where these uh, holes are, and uh, it's, uh, pro it's provided with screws. So let me go uh, take care of that real quick and uh, see how that goes. So both of those bolts, bolts are in. It's mounted at this point. That was a, a half inch socket on that. Yeah, it's a half inch. So now all I have to do is run the wire. And I seen uh, underneath the seat, there's already a connector for this. So it should just plug right in. It's just a matter of running the wire. Uh, there wasn't any thing that I could find on YouTube of these type of lights for the mower. This is a newer mower. It's a, 2022 I believe and um, I just couldn't find anything so what I'm going to do is install this and when it gets dark I'll uh, show you what it looks like and go from there so I put it under here I ran it along the rail put some zip ties on it and it goes back there and plugs in let me show you what that looks like Here's what it looks like. Almost done. And went along the rail here, the discharge tube there. It came in here and plugged in right there. That was already, this uh, connector was already made here. So all I had to do was just plug it in. So here's what it looks like, the light's on. This is just in the garage. And uh, we'll see what it looks like when it gets a little bit darker. These machines do not come with an hour meter, which is kind of crazy. This thing is like $3,800 and it did not come with an hour meter. However, I found this thing. So when you go to Toro, they want anywhere from $80 to $90 for a, a, a silly hour meter. It already has the cutout. This right here is like black tape. You just cut it and that fits right down in there. Let me show you what I did. I went to Amazon and got this hour meter. And I want to say it was less than $20. And it fits in there, plugs right up. It was uh, pretty amazing. I wasn't sure if it was going to fit. This is the uh, box that it came in. I'll put the link in the video so you can see, but uh, I don't know how well it's gonna hold up. I figure for $20, it's worth a try. And it plugs right in, fits right into the hole. It's a little snug, and that's the way even the uh, Toro ones are. But uh, let's see if this will hold up. I'll give you an update later how well it holds up. One thing about the hour meters is it will only run if you're sitting in the seat. Uh, so that's how you know it's running once you plug it in, you turn the key on, you sit in the seat and you can see it start to flash so you'll know it'll work. If you turn the key on and you're not sitting in the seat, it, it looks like it's not working, uh, which I guess in reality it's not. It's plugged in underneath the seat, I guess, for the safety, who knows. But that's what I got for now and uh, we'll go back to the lights here in a few minutes. All right, everything's back on. Footrest is back on. Lights still look good barely see them. It's kind of dark in here. So it's gotten darker out. So we'll uh, take it out and see what happens.
Yeah, it's pretty dark out as you can see, you can barely see me. Um, one thing about that light kit is it only, it stays on all the time. So every time you have the key on, uh, the lights are gonna be on. But it's LED lights, they should last a pretty good time, so I'm not too worried about that. And it actually did way better than I thought it would be. Uh, it was pretty dark out there. I normally wouldn't cut that dark, but uh, it, it did it if you get caught, you know what, towards the end of the season when you're trying to get some leaves cleaned up and it's you know, getting dark out earlier. Uh, it, it seemed to do a pretty good job. Uh, I'm not really sure, I can't remember how much they were. I wanna say 150. Uh, and then I put the mulch kit on. I got that from the dealer for 150. The lights might've been 140 or 130, I'm not sure. I'll, uh, I'll try to put a, a link or a, just at least the price. So thanks for watching, I appreciate it, and uh, talk to you soon.